Hi guys, so we are out here again out in the lot and it's time for us to ship out these calves, ship them out to the sale barn. So we have uh, Randy Goody down here again. He's the one that hauled in the cows that we had, uh, that we bought at the sale barn on Saturday um, that we saw yesterday with his big semi. And we have CL Goody and they both have their big trucks with trailers out here. So we've already been out here, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour sorting uh, these big weaned calves out. So we have, gosh, how many calves are in here, Mom? So there are 140 calves in here that we've been weaning, and we've got some smaller calves that we don't want to sell quite yet because they're not very big, they don't weigh as much, they won't bring as much money. So Sean, Dad, and I have been out here and have been sorting off the small ones for the big ones. So we've got most of them done. These in here still need to be sorted. But these are all uh, big calves that we've been weaning, feeding grain to every day and getting the hay. And so now they're getting loaded up into the trailer so they can be taken down to the, um, to the sale barn. So CL and Randy know that uh, they're being uh, uh, videoed live right now, so they're they're watching their language a little bit more than they <laughs> than they normally would. So now they're just going out the way they all came in yesterday. Through. Sean, I'm going to come through so I can come in from another angle. All right, I'm going to move around a little bit so you can kind of see how they're loading up into the trailer up there. But I don't want to get in the way. So they counted uh, the calves as they uh, load them down or loaded them in and said that there's going to be room for about eight more. So now Dad and Sean are going to try to get eight more in. And all these ca our calves are pretty spooky right now. We've been running around in circles this morning. Uh, trying to get them sorted out. So they're already kind of goosey. Don't really want to cooperate. Uh, closed in the calves that they loaded up before that first load that they sent through. Um, if you watched yesterday, the trailers that they're pulling have dividers inside of it uh, that they can close doors to. So that's why they were able to get um, a big bunch in there and then they closed the door behind it so they could come and get this last little bit of the eight or nine that they just loaded in. And so now uh, one of the guys, whoever pulled the first trailer in, is going to move his trailer out of the way. And I think it's CL's trailer that's backed in there right now. And Randy's going to back his trailer in. Many more. Are you? No, I'm 
All right, I'm gonna move back a little bit. So now we're gonna put this next bunch in here so that way they're ready to load once the next semi gets backed in. And let's see if we can walk around and watch him back the trailer. And it's pretty fun to see because these are great big trailers. The semi pull in it. And they can drive these around and back them in a lot better than what I can do with my car. So this is CL with his semi and his great big trailer. And he's gonna move out of the way so Randy can come around and come back in. that really impresses me about their their backing skills is that they don't have anybody behind them directing them in uh, they can just do it by using their mirrors that are here on the side of their truck and just back right on in sometimes it takes a little bit of adjustment to straighten it out uh, but they are they are really good at this I envy it Check it out, make sure he's good. Okay, so he's all backed in, ready to get loaded up. We'll come back around and watch them load up the next bunch. So there's still gonna be some calves that uh, we hold back, the ones that aren't quite as big as we'd like them to be because they won't bring as much money that'll still be getting grain and then here before long it'll be time for the vets to come out work the little bitty calves that haven't been worked yet and then it'll be time for us to sort out some new calves that need to be weaned it's just kind of a never-ending process oh. oh so here this is a calf that I really like that's now going to the sale barn See this guy number one? Well, you can't see his number. This red guy, he's got a big old splotch of extra red hair on the middle of his forehead. I think he looks like Conan O'Brien. I think it's hilarious. But he's going to the sale barn. Yeah. So now Dad's trying to sort out this last little bunch of calves uh, that we hadn't had time to sort yet. So while CL and Randy were loading the trailers around and backing them up, Dad and Sean were working on sorting the ones that were left. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you know what time the sale is tomorrow? No? Okay. So, uh, Kingsville Livestock Auction is having another sale uh, tomorrow. And so that's where these calves um, are going to be sold at. Typically, Dad said they sell um, cat or bulls first and then cows and they'll get to the calves. So I believe there's a way to watch the auction live um, online. I was trying to look at it on Saturday, uh, but I needed to download Adobe Flash or something like that. So I'll see if I can't figure that out. Um, and uh, we might be able to do that tomorrow for our live video. And you can actually see these uh, calves uh, being sold at auction. Hey, honey. <laughs> get in yours, 40, 32. 
All right, so if you didn't just hear, um, CL was able to get uh, 32 calves in his trailer. So Randy will probably be able to get about that many um, into his. So they'll have, they'll have at least uh, one more trailer load that they'll need to do after we load these up, maybe even two. And here are the other ones that uh, they're not going to have room with in this load. So we'll need to load these up in at least one more trailer. Let's see if we can't help mom count how many there are still in here. Twenty four. I counted twenty four. Twenty four. So, uh, Jason mentioned before, we noticed whenever we were uh, getting the cows in from the field last weekend that we have to make a lot of funny noises. That seems to be a requirement. And, uh, you know, we all kind of make our own little noises uh, when we're getting cows in. Um, CL and Randy have more of the uh, sail barn kind of yell that they use. Um, if you watched the YouTube video that I shared of the cattle auction where they were shouting out whenever they saw somebody bidding, um, they kind of have that same kind of yell. Um, I tend to do like little noises because if I yell too much then I lose my voice. Uh, so I don't do the deep throated yells like other people do. I just make funny noises. Coming back out of the trailer. So some of these breeds of cattle tend to be a little bit more uh, skittish and wild than others. Uh, the Brahma cross calves, the ones that have the really big floppy ears that are pretty cool looking, they tend to be more um, skittish and wild and jumpy. Um, so they're pretty cool looking and they get nice and big and muscular, but uh, they're more jumpy and more wild. In fact, um, today when we were um, sorting them earlier, we actually had one calf that went through one of the gates and busted through it here I'll see if I can climb through and show you 
Sean, could you, or mom? Oh. Could you close this? You don't have to lift it. You can just push it down since it got bent around. So we were sorting calves off and one of the crazier ones got it in their head that they didn't want to be in uh, where they were supposed to be. So they actually went through this panel right here. So you can see how it's all bent up now and it's got a, a big hole in it where they bent up uh, the panels here and it just went right on through there and, and busted through. So we had to take that off and um, replace it with this panel right here. This is where it got through. So cows, you know, they're pretty cool. Usually they're pretty sweet and calm, but sometimes these younger calves get really skittish and scared and, and will go through panels like that and become kind of dangerous. And in fact, that one is actually out here uh, with these calves that are the smaller calves that we're keeping back. So that's still another fun thing that we get to do this afternoon is come back through and sort that calf back off. So all of the calves uh, that you see out here, um, except um, it's the one that's really far. <gasps> oh my God, sneeze! Really far back in the back. Um, that's a red and white uh, longhorn calf. All of these are going to be staying back uh, to fatten up a little bit more uh, before we take them down to the sale barn. So yeah. So we'll we'll be feeding less buckets of grain every day, or mom and dad will be feeding less buckets of grain a day, which is going to be super nice for them. Uh, but we'll have a couple of weeks off before it's time for us to go out and uh, bring the cows and calves in from another field and sort off calves that are ready to be weaned, and then the process gets started all again because that's that's the fun of the farm. There's never really an end to it. All right, so I'm hearing a lot of yelling up here. I think we should be getting pretty close uh, to having uh, this bunch loaded up and ready to go. Maybe. Looks like they've got a little bit more room for another group in there. I can kind of see through the shadows. So there's one little section there at the end of the trailer uh, that can fit just a couple um, of calves. So we're gonna try to get four or five more calves to load up to fill up the end of the trailer. And then they'll be ready to roll out. And sometimes they just don't cooperate <laughs> and you just got to let them go and sort it out later so that's kind of what they're doing now all right well I'm gonna turn you guys around and uh, we're kind of at a point now where they're just loading up the last uh, little bit into the trailer and then CL and Randy are gonna be uh, heading on out to Kingsville to go deliver those calves to the sale barn tomorrow like I said uh, they're gonna be sold um, at the auction uh, for at Kingsville and they do have a live feed of the auction or at least they normally do um, I didn't find the link for the sale tomorrow so hopefully I can uh, find that and look it up and be able to figure out about what time they'll be sold and we might be able to tune in and see how our calves do with being sold so like I said this is just another little part of the the farming that we do uh, with cattle it's a never-ending cycle you know, we're shipping these calves out now and here before long it's going to be time for us to get a new bunch of calves up here on the lot to be ready to wean and we just keep on going. So I hope everybody has a great afternoon and we will see you tomorrow.